Hey guys, so I can't believe that the summer is almost over, so it's time to do my August favorites. So if you guys would like to see what I've been loving for the month of August, then just keep watching. Let's start off with a new author that I discovered this month. It is David Bell, and the book I'm reading is Somebody I Used to Know. It's about a man that had a, high, a college sweetheart that died in a fire, and 20 years later she sees someone he sees someone that looks just like her. And he's trying to figure out, are they connected? Did she actually die in the fire? Like, so it's a mystery, but it's, I don't know. He pulled me in right from the beginning, and he has several other books. So I'm definitely going to be looking up the other books by David Bell and checking them out because I'm hooked on this one so far. Next up, a drink that I've been obsessed with. This is the Wonder Melon Cold Pressed Watermelon Cucumber Basil Drink. They do have several other flavors. There's one with cayenne that I cannot handle because I can't handle anything with pepper or spice, even the slightest bit, but this is delicious, so refreshing, and 100% juice. I love it, and I can't wait to get more. A lip product that I've been loving this month that I'm wearing right now, this is the Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Lip. I have all three shades. I love all of them. There's a rose one, there's a bronze one, and then like a clear blue iridescent one. And just depending on the makeup look or how I'm feeling, that's how I decide, but they truly are glass-like and super reflective. I love these. Another lip product I've been using a ton this month are the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayons. I love them. I like how long lasting they are. I like that they aren't a dry matte. They have like still a bit of slip to them, which I find more comfortable than their other like matte ink liquid lipsticks. The color range could definitely be expanded a bit for more neutral and more brown tone ones, but these are the two that I go for most often. They are 15 and 20. Really, really good lip product, affordable from the drugstore. Some palettes I've been reaching for over and over. First being the Pixie and Rach Loves Layers palette. Looks like this inside. They're super bright, super reflective. I love using the brown one as a shadow. I love this one as an inner corner highlight, and I use these three on the face. Beautiful palette, and Rach just announced that she's pregnant with her third child, which is super exciting. I'm a mom of three, so congratulations, Rachel. And she also featured me in a video recently, which I am so, so, so excited about. It made my summer. So if you haven't seen the I DM'd my followers and they picked my makeup video on her channel, go on and check it out, and you will see me in a tiny little screen on her phone, but I'm in it, so it's like my claim to fame. Super excited. Good palette. The other palette that I've been using a ton this month is the Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. I have mainly been using these two rows. I don't reach much for the purple and blue shades unless it's like a pop of color on the lower lash line or if I'm going for a full cool tone look, but mostly it's been the mattes. I like that you've got your tans, your browns, your pinks, your peaches, and reds, so it's kind of just like summery, easy makeup, and I've been reaching for it a lot this month. A foundation that I've fallen back in love with is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This is the original one, not the illuminating, not the Bye Bye Foundation, not the moisturizer, not the matte one, just the original one. And I go back and forth between medium and light. I love to apply it with a like foundation kabuki brush type thing. It just it smooths on the skin. It pretty much wears all day for me. It doesn't make me oily or greasy. Um, mine don't have expiration dates on them, but the newer bottles I believe do. I just, I just think this is a really outstanding CC, CC cream, but it's basically a full coverage foundation. Took this on vacation with me, really, really like this one. Some sprays that I've been using all month long, first being the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. I use this as a primer. I use this in between my makeup, so like once I've done the foundation and powder, I'll do this before bronzer and everything else on top. I will also use it as a setting spray. It really does seem to lock in my makeup, and if you use as much as I do, it also adds a bit of glow to the forehead and other areas if you don't want to powder it down again. So I like this, and it's a drugstore. It's Rimmel, really affordable, and it works really well. Another one I've been using, this is the Ole Henriksen Grease Relief Facial Water, and this does seem to help prevent oils from coming through in my T-zone, so I will just spray this in the beginning of my makeup application in the T-zone, and it really does seem to make a difference, so I might have to get a bigger size bottle of this one in the future. Next up are some nail products that I'm obsessed with. These are the Essie, I think they're called the Gorgeous Geodes Collection. They all have holographic pearls to them, but they're all different colors. So this one is just straight up holographic. This one is like the brown polish with holographic bits in it. There's a rosy tone one, there's a golden one, there is a 
peachy one. They're all beautiful and they all have the holographic sparkle to them. They're so pretty, but they are at like CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid right now. And my last favorite, this is the Pixie Vitamin C Juice Cleanser. What I like most about this is the packaging. It has a pop-off lid and then you press your cotton around down on this and it dispenses product on your cotton around so you don't have to pour, you don't have to squeeze, you don't have to really work. It's very easy. I can just do that at night after I've washed my face. Do an extra step to cleanse and I'm good to go. It's just fast and easy and my skin seems to be really enjoying the vitamin C part of it because I feel like my scars are kind of fading and my skin is just looking a bit more even and I think this is part of it. So I've been enjoying this a lot this month as well. And that is it for my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite makeup products have been this month. I love hearing what you guys enjoy. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.